So Aksar Patel not out on 26. Jaydev Unarka joined him at the fall of Virat Kohli's wicket. Rishabh to come, Shreya Sayer to come, Ravi Chandan Ashwin to come. All of them can bat and I'm sure uh, put together, all of them can score the 100 that India need. 100%. I think there is no doubt that if we bat a little positively, and I say a little positively because when you hit a couple of boundaries, the bowler is under pressure and you need to put that pressure on the bowler. Otherwise, they will find it very easy to come and toss it up at length. There is enough happening in the wicket and they will allow the wicket to do the rest for them. We are at a stage where we need to take a couple of risks within the game plan of each batter and try for those boundaries. And that is the way you can put pressure on them. And we have two batsmen who naturally tend to do that, who are walking in after this, Shreya Sayer and Rishabh Pant. And we know one of Ashwin's great ability is to handle pressure. So that skill is definitely going to come out. But ideally, he would want to be batting with one of the batters in the top seven so that he can make a mark with his bat as well. Every time he's walked in, a wicket has fallen around him and he needs to bat with the tail. That becomes a very different ball game altogether. But if he can find a, a person, one of the batters there during his stint, then that would really help in India crossing the line. Expect to see only Isha, only Taijul and Shakib from both ends? Long spells? No, I think they will start with Taijul and uh, Mehdi Hassan Maraz because he's troubled the right-handers yes. as much as he's troubled the left-handers. So that is the way that they would start. And any last piece of advice for uh, for those who are on the crease, Jaydev Unarkat and, and uh, Aksar Patel? The good thing about Jaydev Unarkat is the fact that he remained not out. So the bowlers still are finding a way to get him out. But if he needs to survive, he needs to back his sweep shot, which is something that he is very good at. What he tends to do is play a sweep and then wait for the bowler to toss it up and then step out and go for one wide of long on or long off. I think that should be his game plan. He is somebody who is capable of... Uh, giving us 25-30 runs with the bat. He's done that consistently in domestic cricket. So, here is another opportunity for him. He's bowled well in this test match.